Some recent security features have been implemented in the One UI 6.1. It could be that I probably missed them because for sure one was there before, but also something brand new, guys. So if you have a Samsung phone, the S24 Ultra in that case, just open the settings, go on down to security and privacy, scroll down a bit, and there's gonna be a thing called more security settings. Now, a lot of these existed before, and there are plenty of things here like the secure folder or the secure Wi-Fi and hence data protection and etc and etc. But two things new, or at least new for me. The first thing was there before, but I see this for the first time. It's called Android Safe Browsing, and it this reminds me so much of the Pixel UI. Safe browsing alerts you to security threats like harmful links and web pages when you browse. We need to support it up. So you might get an alert if you tap a link in your news app that would take you down to a phishing site which is actually very good and android safe browsing is on and as you can see it apparently supports 90 apps now i never clicked anything here guys so i do believe it's like auto supported sometimes in even games like the soccer star google play services fc mobile X Cloud themes and also the cpu throttling test that is actually even not available on, on play store that is quite peculiar use live threat protection the latest version of safe browsing with more accurate threat detection now you can apparently turn this on and off i advise you to leave this on as to the supported apps if you click here you're not able to just add more apps but forget about this this here is brand new at least on samsung devices and it's called theft protection and the animation itself is <laughs> i think quite explainable so imagine you are outside having your coffee, the phone in your hand, enjoying your favorite content, and boom, somebody just grabs your phone, starts running. The theft protection apparently can help you with this. Built-in safeguards to protect your personal data if your device is stolen. So there is this theft detection lock. The screen will lock if the setting detects that someone took your device and ran away. Now, those things are turned off by default. If you try to turn them on, you're gonna get this. How it works, by the way, it's really interesting to understand how this thing works. If the theft detection lock detects that your device has been taken from you, your device screen will lock automatically to prevent anyone from accessing your personal data. This feature uses your device motion sensors as well as its Wi-Fi and smart device connection. So let's say when I'm at home, right, I have a lot of smart things at home. If my kid grabs the phone, it will not activate. But when I'm outside and not connected to my Wi-Fi and let's say you grab my phone, potentially this thing can activate. And bear in mind, you must be actively using your device while it's unlocked because the phone needs to learn the patterns, exactly what you're doing and connected to your Wi-Fi, managing your devices. So for now, I'm gonna turn this on. We have more options, offline device lock. The screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. This thing is cool, by the way. How it works? Your device screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data, which isn't bad. So let's say I'm cut off the internet, right, no access to Wi-Fi, no access to mobile network, then my screen will lock and this isn't bad. For example, your device will lock if someone steals it and turns off the internet to prevent location tracking. So this feature is quite nice. But again, bear in mind, you should be using actively your device when it's unlocked, which is the case with me and the screen can be locked up to twice a day. So this one I will turn for sure. But there are more settings, such as remote lock. If your device is lost or stolen, you can lock its screen with just a phone number. This thing is good for sure. You cannot activate it from here. You should click inside and then you can decide to use it, right? And then of course you need to verify your phone number so that Google will know it's you. Then another one, find and erase your device. Use find my device to locate and erase your device. This is there, this existed there before. Of course, there is also hamburger menu. You can apparently say hi to Google. So all this, Google theft protection features made their way into the Samsung One UI, but it's really up to you to decide what you want to use or if you want to use them at all. But I hope that this video was helpful to you. If that's the case, you know what to do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, VSC, over and bye.